What's up everybody, I'm back with another video game review and today continuing and we are doing Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon released on the 3DS in 2013. It was one of the first year of, Lu year of Luigi titles and what many people would call one of the better year of Luigi games released. Sequel of course to the original Luigi's Mansion released on the GameCube in 2001. You want my thoughts on that game go check that out it's in the game review playlist i've done that one so but if you saw that review you'll know that i really liked the original luigi's mansion and so getting the opportunity to play dark moon once again thank you to like and Mifri for letting me borrow this game and letting me uh give it a whirl um so thank you once again for that as always but you know I had some pretty high expectations coming to this game after being really blown away with what Luigi's Mansion, the original Luigi's Mansion had to offer. And there was some stuff that, you know, met my expectations and some that didn't. So, um, let's just, uh, jump right into it, shall we? First off, I really like the intro to the game. I think it's really, really cool. Um, you know, the whole expositional settings and... And everything is, is, is really, really nice. So I thought that was cool. I do like the callback to the first game with how the first game used a Game Boy as a map. This game uses a DS as a map. I think that's a really, really cool touch and a nice little uh, callback um, to a thing that they used in the first game. So I wish Luigi just ran all the time instead of doing the little tiptoey walk motion to it. Um, but I do like that he runs faster now um, so that you can cover more areas um, during the time um, quicker in, in the game and scale more. Because there is more to see, so you want to move a little bit faster. It wasn't The speed that Luigi moved wasn't a big complaint for me. It really wasn't a complaint at all for me in the first game. But it's nice that they did do an upgrade for that. So I also really like the indicators on the map showing. I also really like the... Um, uh, sorry about that. Um, I do like the indicators on the map that show like which rooms you've already uh, entered or can enter. And which ones you need a key for. That was kind of a thing that kind of annoyed me when playing the first Luigi's Mansion is I had trouble remembering where I've been and where I needed to go and where I can go and where I can't. Um, so mostly came down to just a big trial and error. So it's nice to be able to have a better way of keeping track of that in this game. Um, kind of makes the process a little more efficient and reduces the backtracking and trial and error type thing. So... Um, the controls for this game I thought were pretty simple, uh, just like they were in the first game. Um, a little bit more uh, developed and concrete, though, um, in this game, which was nice. It was a little hard to like turn around, which can be difficult when trying to get ghosts or explore certain areas. Um, but I didn't find that to be a huge problem, but it, it did turn out to be a little bit of a nuisance in the game. I do wish that there was a better way to save your progress. I think it was a very confusing way to do it, and it was not the most applicable. It caused me to lose my progress on multiple occasions, and that just uh, proved to be more of a problem than um, it really needed to be. So I wish they kind of had done a little bit better job of that, at least. Um, the one big thing about this game is that we're not just in one mansion. We're in multiple different um, buildings and doing a lot of different explorations. Um, I think all of the areas are pretty creative and done well, really well. And they all differentiate from each other, which is nice. Um, and also adds a lot of extra stuff onto the game to see and do. Um, it means that we don't get to spend as much time in one area as we, you know, we did for the first mansion in Luigi's Mansion 1. But it is cool that um, they gave touch to some other areas and other uh, things to do. So, um, Anyway, sorry about that again. Um, I didn't... One thing I really didn't like was 
the removal of the larger and more specific ghosts in the game um that kind of served as like mini bosses or real bosses for each area in in the first game and i thought they were really cool they had their own original designs and um cool like attributes to them in their rooms and that was kind of just done away with in this game which was kind of a disappointment um because i thought they were pretty cool but oh well what are you gonna do also, this game is a lot more linear than the first game. The first one felt more just of an open exploration type thing. Though there was, it, was, it wasn't like super open world, but definitely had that open world feel. This one um, is a lot more linear. You have to do specific missions at specific times to continue through the progressions to go to each area and do the specific tasks and complete the game. Um, so it's not a big deal. It is a very noticeable change, though, so if you liked the that aspect of the first one, know that that's gone in in this one, and uh, Dark Moon, so. My last complaint about this game, my last piece of notes, really, is that the professor calls a lot. It's really annoying. Um, he calls, like, every five seconds, and it gets annoying really, really, really quick. Really, really quickly. And, yeah. And, like, I know what I'm doing. I don't need you to call me every five seconds. I get it. It's just, you know, that's a big complaint that a lot of the people would, would have as well. So, But anyways, that's it for my notes on Dark Moon. My, my overall thoughts for this game, I think it's a really good game. It has a lot of different aspects to it than the original did. But I think it's still really good in its own way. Is it as good as the first one? I don't think so. But it's still a solid game. One of my more favorite 3DS titles that I have played, at least for sure. So my final score for Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, probably going to have to give it a good 8 out of 10. I think it's a really good game. And definitely one to play if you really liked the first one. So, But anyways, that's going to do it for this review. If you've ever played Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, I'd love to know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. And that's going to do it as well for this video. So stay tuned for other much more amazing content, including more game reviews and other awesome stuff. Till next time, see you guys later. Goodbye.